Here are all the cutting tools and special collets I need to make the yo-yo. This project shows the benefits of collet work holding in the lathe. I'm going to be making a number of these yo-yos, so I ordered a 3-inch pot chuck, an emergency 5C collet for this project, and you just watch me machine them. You can find these chucks very reasonably priced, around $30 for both, or about $20 for the pot chuck, and $10 for the emergency collet. And you can reuse them for other projects down the road. With a decent 5C setup, concentric holding is much quicker, and I don't have to fiddle with the forejaw or worry about marring the parts as much. This project requires a number of tools. In addition to the standard turning tools, I ground up a few custom face grooving tools. I use old center or spotting drills for this job, an OD grooving tool for the bushing, this one here, and a boring bar. This one's made out of a long center drill. I ground the boring bar on the single lip cutter grinder, but it is certainly possible to do this on a bench grinder. Grinding high speed steel tools is a very handy skill to develop in the home shop. If I had to buy carbide insert tooling, there would be significant cost, even if I did purchase the inexpensive holders and inserts that have flooded eBay, and then you might not even find what you were looking for. This is also the first project where I'm going to use a form tap to produce the threads in the yo-yo rims. Form taps do exactly what they sound like they do. They form the thread instead of cutting it. No chips are produced when you use them. I wanted to use a form tap because form tapping produces a stronger threads, primarily due to work hardening and grain refinement that occurs in the material. I wanted the strongest thread possible to avoid stripping the threads out over time. Yo-yos often come apart for a new string and lubricating the bearing. This is an OSG tap. They're priced slightly higher than comparable quality machine taps. You can see there's only one flute, if you will, on it. And it's really not a flute. If you're going to start using form taps, just be mindful that the tap drill size is critical to the process. And it is different than that for cut tapping. This here is the custom radius tool out of 01 that I made in the last video. Also here are all the standard drills as well as the ream that I use. 